So yeah, good evening guys. Today we are going to discuss about Tamil Nadu National Law University. This video is going to be mostly in English because this will be benefiting most of my friends from South India. So for that, if someone has any issue in understanding anything, please do drop me a message on Instagram. We can communicate about this university personally guys. Okay? So today we are going to discuss everything and anything and everything which we need to know about this university. Yeah, a great institution in South India. We'll know about its placement. We'll know about its campus life. We'll know about its fees reservation everything which you need to know before taking admission to this college yeah CLAT results are out now we are going and searching about the university we are not knowing where we are going and so this video is for you guys before before we are going into the details let's go and roam around our beautiful campus Everyone loved the campus of this beautiful university. Yeah, Tamil Nadu National Law University, TNNLU, formerly Tamil Nadu National Law School. Yeah, earlier its name was TNNLS. So, it was established in 212, sir. It was a, it is a government university and is having an area of 30 to 40 acres, which is sufficient when we talk about a law school. Yeah, guys, law schools don't have this much of area normally when we talk about it. Many colleges are not even having the campus of its own. So, in this thing, I would say it is having sufficient of everything which is needed. Yeah. So, Talking about all the other analysts also, so many of them are having areas of 50 acres or something, 50 to 60 acres, but many of them are there who are having an area of 6 acres, 13 acres, 18 acres. So, uh, uh, when we talk about this thing, we are giving TN NLU 9 out of 10 points. We are having no issues there. So, again, so campus area is sufficient, no problems with that part. Clear? Eh? So, we are getting admission into this great institution by common law admission test. The great, uh, it's a uh, test conducted on a national level. So, we, you might be knowing about it if you are watching this video. Yeah, sure. So, let's look, out, look, out, uh, look at the location of this particular college. Yeah, when we talk about the distance from the railway station. Sir, we are having a 12 kilometer of distance from the railway station about, uh, from our university. Yeah, airport is about 15 kilometers apart. And this is something, I would say there is no issue in this regard because this is a normal range in which energy are situated it is somewhat outside the city yeah it is situated in Tiruchirappalli. yeah when we we normally know, know it as Trichy sir we are having this uh, in, in a very very good like location yeah and we talk about the location we have this hangout places there we have normal tea stalls which you can uh, go outside the college food joints are there like KFC, Subway, Domino, CCD anything and everything which and Ranganatha Swami temple which you can visit outside your college you can have the look at your beautiful campus through these pictures also sir let's look at the courses available in this college ba llb and bcom llb honors course are available when we talk about a five year program definitely there would be other courses like phd and LM, but we are not talking about them here because our concern is the five year law program <coughs> Sorry guys. So let's look at the facilities available, guys. We are having a some kind of this kind of gym. Library is there. Mess is there. Moot court hall is there. And I think uh, sports facilities are also there. Classes are running very well. So <coughs> we are having no issues with that. Sir, let's look at the fee structure. Fee structure is is I would say good. Like um, it's not too high and it's not. 
टू लो यस सर टू लैख ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड टोटल अमाउंट वी हैव टू गिव इन नॉर्मल कैटेगरी आई थिंक एंड फॉर एस सी एन एस टी दिस इज दिस लोस डाउन टू टू लैख सेवेंटी सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड सर आई वुड से सम यूनिवर्सिटीज आर हैविंग दिस बिलो टू लैख एंड समूनिवर्सिटी आर हैविंग इट टू अब टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो इट्स इन द मिड रेंज वी कैन डेफिनेटली से सेवन आउट ऑफ एट पॉइंट इन फी स्ट्रक्चर नो इश्यूज आप डेफिनेटली जा सकते हैं यहाँ पे ठीक है लेट्स मूव आइट गाइज रिजर्वेशन क्राइटेरिया आई वुड से गुड काइंड ऑफ रिजर्वेशन इज देर लाइक अनरिजर्व एटीन सीट्स आर लॉटेड एंड टोटल सीट्स ऑफ तमिल फॉर द तमिलनाडु कैटेगरी इज फिफ्टी सेवन या फॉर द ऑल इंडिया कैटेगरी टोटल फिफ्टी सेवन सीट्स आर देर वन हंड्रेड फोर्टीन सीट्स का यू आर हैविंग टू बैचेस बी एल एल बी एंड बी कॉम एल एल बी सो लुक एट इट इन फ्रॉम योर क्राइटेरिया इफ यू आर गेटिंग इट इन जनरल कैटेगरी एंड इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी डाउट इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी डाउट दट वेदर आई शुड गो टू दिस कॉलेज और नॉट यू कैन पर्सन इट डी एम यूर इंस्टाग्राम वील डिस्कस अबाउट इट नो इशू सर सर लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट सेंटर आई थॉट दैट लेट्स नॉट मैंशन ऑल ऑफ दम बट सम ऑफ द सेंटर Centers which I feel that you would be interested in, I is mentioned on the slide. Slide, sir. Yeah. Uh, Center for Research and Writing is there. Center for Competition Law is there. Center for Development Law, Labor and Development is there, and many others are there, sir. When we talk about research centers in a college, we are like we. The importance of these centers is that people who are interested in different subject apart from their law uh, study the subjects, you can definitely go and explore that particular horizon uh, area. Okay, and and widen your horizon. Okay. So. Uh, in that field also tamil nadu is a uh, uh, is performing decently there is no such issue in that regard also okay sir let's talk about the student committees legal aid committee moot court committee sports committee internship and placement committee debate club committee cultural committee and adr committee sir this college has not gained much recognition in the in the in minds of northern indian people because we are not knowing much about the college yeah when we talk about with the, when we talk about this with our parent we say yeah it's in tamil nadu where you will go so far um things like this come into minds of our parents and we that's why we don't tend to send our parents uh, to children to these uh, colleges sir and ma'am i would like to request you uh, that whether your child is going um from away from you uh, to a distance which is 200 km apart and or it's 1000 or 2000 km apart but believe me in the next 5 years it will be maximum 20 times that he will be returning back to um yeah, home and there will be no such issue sir in this current era connectivity is no such issue people can travel from one place to another of the country in a span of maximum of 12 hours using flights so that is something which is not an issue i would say look at the college and if you feel you can explore the college the opportunity provided by the college definitely go to it don't um, keep the distance or the location a factor for your decision okay let's talk about other things also there is different painting club dance club photography club ecology club where you can definitely explore these fields and perform well sir you can know whether you are having interest on these fed fields or not because different different specific clubs are created people of similar interest get together explore and evolve clear hai sir okay sir yeah when we talk about major annual events sir tamil nadu national university national mediation arbitration competition 2019 was uh, is conducted okay sir cci national moot court competition at a national level is conducted Pongal is conducted visa uh, at at TN NLU. Vivatham 2018 Inter University Debate Competition is there. TN NLU Just Festum 18. This was conducted. TN NLU Marudam Culture Fest. This was conducted. Basically, what why we are getting sir? We are getting the why that the university is pretty much active when we talk about different activities. Yeah, we are having different kinds of competitions. We are having different kinds of festivals. So this makes the university culturally diverse, and that's why we are having this. We can say that it is better in terms of um, cultural activities and in terms of national level competitions. So when we talk about exposure, we are getting sufficient exposure uh, in this university. Okay, sir. So let's talk about the marks division of this college. Sir, hundred marks uh, total uh, in the in the semester we are having. We are having twenty marks of mid semester, which is a small paper written by us, and fifty marks of end semester. End semester, which is a uh, like uh, a, a big paper or uh, we will say a more marks paper, and that is thirty marks is of project. So project is uh, another by uh, uh, also bifurcated into fifteen and fifteen marks. That is project plus viva and continuous evaluation through assignments and class reports. Okay, sir. 
I think this is very good because this keeps you engaged in your academics continuously. Sir, this is very very good when I talk about Tamil Nadu National University. Sir, attendance criteria is thirty seventy five percent, and I got to the view that it is very strict. Like people, they are like uh, we. Uh, I am from a convent school, and I have a teacher from South. And what I have learned is they are very disciplined in every regard, and this is very very good, sir. And um, this reflects in this thing. And no marks rejection for attendance, but yeah, you are. Having very strict attendance criteria, my maybe if you are like not having this attendance, you will not be allowed to write the exams. Okay, sir. When we talk about hostel and curfew timing, sir, we are having two hostels at Tamil Nadu National University. One is for girls and one is for boys. Double and triple sharing rooms are available for first year, sir. From the second year, you are having double seaters, and we are having no single seater rooms in our college. See, this is a kind of triple seater room. This is a kind of double seater room. I think rooms are good, but <coughs> single seater rooms must be there. As in most national university, we are seeing that from the third year, we are having single seater rooms. So this is something which is not there. And I need to inform you about it. So timings of the college is from 10 a.m. I think uh, I think uh, uh, yeah, college timings is till 10. And when we talk about weekends, it uh, uh, it may extend to 10:40. And library timing is from 6 a.m. to 12 in the e uh, midnight, sir. And I think library timings are sufficient because in every of my video when we talk about the timings of the library, this is something which I tell you that at least till 12 a.m. we must have our library open because a student must get 3 to 4 hours of study in the library after his dinner because that is the actual time when we are studying and library is the place we are studying with the most efficiency okay let's move ahead sir placements when we talk about placements sir uh, that is something i would say uh, very good number is not there yeah uh i got the rough idea that only 15 to 20 students are getting place in so called good placements because you may see now all of the 114 students may not be even sitting for their placement many of them might be going for practice many of them might be writing for judiciary judicial examination many of them might be um going for higher studies and when we talk about all these factors that 15 20 placement um i would say still low it's still low yeah um i would say if you are predetermined that you have to go to play like corporate sector and uh, you have to gain a very very good job then i think tnnu vtn nlu will in a manner disappoint you is it clear am i get are you getting my point theek hai sir so let's see because why is it happening because of sir location disadvantage yeah trichy and delhi these two things these two places clearly by the name shows that which of them will have the most involvement of the companies and ji obviously says ki people will go to delhi first companies will go to delhi first so automatically placements will be good in delhi clear am i clear yes yeah, sir so we are having average se bhi tha low kind of placement in tnmnu let's move ahead faculty review i would say uh, people have given me the review that most of the faculties are from south india only uh, which gives you a positive point also a negative point also they might be interacting with you in english only just because of that uh, there is no such issue that they will be uh, interacting in the local language no such issue is faced by the students of north india but yeah um, you might say ki a uh, some a uh, different kind of connect is when you feel uh, with the north indian teacher that may, may be some people's issue Okay, sir. Let's move ahead. When we talk about why Tamil Nadu, yeah. So this is the reason, sir. We are first of all having we are having a uh, NLU tag, which is very important. When we talk about uh, associating an institute with us, our name, this remains with us throughout our life. Okay. When we are, then also we are having a nice campus, good infrastructure is there, which makes your campus life very good for the next five years. And also the English, like yeah, when you go there, you'll have to communicate in English. I am talking about North Indian people because your teachers, your most of your batchmates. will be south indians only yeah so that's the reason you will be having that good environment where you can develop this thing also like i'm talking about students from up bihar and everything where place where some of us are not getting the getting the environment to uh, like communicate with our batchmates in english because we <laughs> tend to do it in our local language mostly 
so that is something you can uh, and this is a very important like communication skill is something which you must develop and the nlu is giving you that environment okay sir why not tn nlu sir when we talk about the location disadvantage it is definitely present this is also there because of it yeah it's a consequence of location disadvantage because i have ex already explained you the companies won't prefer going there much like the company situated in bombay the company situated in um, uh, the delhi the uh, reputed com tier one companies like amazon mangal das and all will prefer not going there and stay at that particular area mostly and will go to the top national universities like nlsiu or uh, nalsar or nugs because the vibe or the tag or the name which has it that those institutions have created in the in the past many years attract those company maybe maybe in the upcoming years this will also come with tn nlu and it will also shine like anything but currently we are not having much of corporate culture at tamil nadu national university is it clear sir and when we talk about mooting mooting culture i got the review from the student that it is comparatively less but yeah students are achieving those who are willing are having the platform as we have seen we are having a uh, well designed moot court hall also that is something which is uh, which you must keep in mind like in my college when i got into there why go when i got there the, the moot court hall was being constructed was not already present so this is something which you must know that all nlus are not having proper infrastructure also, but this is there in tn nlu so this is something which you can keep in mind is it clear sir also one point from my side sir people are saying that there is a bit uh, kind of uh, thing that which you can say as north south divide that is something which will come naturally it's not anyone's fault because when we say that in a location when we are having more or majority of a person from particular uh, culture then we tend to see that most of the times they are not able to um, get mixed properly uh, as the people with the same culture so maybe you can see that north indian people mostly are having their groups with the north indians and not that, that is something but i would say ki if you are getting good education from an institute that is something which you, which should not matter you much okay sir so with that note bhai should i go to tn nlu i would say don't miss the chance just because you think it is in south india and it is far away from your home south india is on the other end definitely bro nuas kochi tn nlu all these institution institutions will give you a very very good environment to study sir okay and if you have any doubt regarding this regarding the decision please do drop drop me a message on instagram i'll be clarifying your queries there okay sir with that note let's end the video if you liked it please 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 do share it with everyone sir i have made this video specifically for uh, my friend from south india in english just because you can also have the benefit of these beautiful college reviews sir okay so with that note let's end the video tada bye bye